It's that time of year when we put pumpkin on a pedestal. Today, we are at Perch in Mission Viejo, and we are cooking with Chef Kim, who's made an amazing pumpkin spice cinnamon roll paired with an espresso cocktail. Kim, I love that we get to cook together. I'm so excited to try these pumpkin spice cinnamon rolls. Yes, I'm so excited to show you. So I took on a little take on cinnamon rolls. I do buttermilk instead of regular milk, so it's gonna have like this really nice tangy flavor. But I figured since we're already coming into fall, I might as well add a little pumpkin spice and make everything, everything nice. Yeah. So we took a little bit of buttermilk, about one cup, and then I did two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast. So this is active dry yeast. So right now it's doing its thing. It's nice and bubbly. You're gonna let it sit for 10 minutes. In the meantime, we could work on our frosting, our filling. We're gonna be doing this in the Blue Star Dual Full range. I'm really excited to show that. You're just gonna mix it together. This is gonna be the filling. This is salted butter with brown sugar, cinnamon, a little bit of um, pumpkin spice, some salt. So Renee, this is the consistency you're looking for. You kinda want that paste easy to spread on your cinnamon rolls once we're ready for that part. But while that's doing its thing, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you about the Blue Star Dual Fill range. Let's see it. So here it is, gorgeous, I love it. I am a huge fan of Blue Star and most chefs are. They're extremely powerful. They have so many bells and whistles. The cool thing about it too is you get performance and design. And this one's great because this is gas and electric. So with this range, we have four burners and a griddle in the middle. This is 36 inches. I am a huge fan. I think I'm excited to show you how the oven works. Today we're gonna proof in there and then we're also gonna bake after. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. So it has this beautiful screen, so hydraulic. So if I click here, it goes up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do proof. So I'm gonna go ahead and do 120. We've got the preheat on and just click start. And there it goes. But now we can get started on our dough. I'm just going to mix it a little bit with um, my paddle, but then we're gonna knead it by hand. Do it the old school way. We're gonna do yeah. four cups of flour. And add it all at once? Yeah, we can add all at once. This is about three fourths cup of pumpkin puree. And here we have our pumpkin spice. Here's some butter. It's about six tablespoons of salted butter. One egg. Then we're just gonna give it a mix until it's all together. And then I'm gonna take it over to the table and we're gonna go ahead and knead it by hand. So go ahead and sprinkle a little flour on here. That should be good for now. We're gonna start off with that. We're gonna take our dough, just place it on there. So it takes about 10 minutes. We're gonna put in work right now, Renee, but it's gonna be worth it. Okay, so I'm gonna get your technique here. So you're kind of like folding it over and pressing it down at the same time. All right, let's go. Here we go. Over, oh gosh, this is looks over a lot more. And under. <laughs> it looks a go. lot more rhythmic when you're doing it. <laughs> Gotta put some elbow grease in there. there we go. <laughs> There you go. Oh, wow. Oh, see? Ooh, now I got it. Yeah. Now what you're gonna do is we're going to get a bowl. We're gonna spray the bowl so that your dough doesn't stick. You kinda wanna get a large bowl. Your dough is going to proof double in size. Okay. So you don't wanna go and put in a small bowl that fits in right now because it's gonna eventually grow. Again, this dough is alive. So it just okay. goes in there. In there. Uh -huh. And then I'm right. gonna go get some plastic wrap to cover it. Okay. Even with it going in the oven? Yes, yeah, because it's only 120 degrees. So you just kind of lightly cover. You don't want to do it too tight, but you do want to cover it because you don't want to film on your dough. All right. We're gonna go ahead and put it in the oven. Just set it in there. And it's not really that hot at all. It's just nice and warm, warm to speed up yeah. the process. Yes, and 30 minutes we'll wait and we'll get started on the rest. Great. <laughs> While we're waiting for our cinnamon rolls to proof, we thought we would use our time well and get another bonus recipe in with Chef Kim. So now we're making a cocktail that could potentially pair with cinnamon rolls or would be really good that night. So today we're gonna do a coffee cocktail. It's called the Carajillo. So it's like a Mexican coffee cocktail. We're gonna take our shaker, we're just gonna add some ice in there and then about two ounces per cocktail. So we'll do four ounces and so there's the two of us. Just gonna add a few pieces in there. So I'm gonna do about four ounces. This is the 43 liqueur. It's a Spanish liqueur. It has notes of orange and vanilla. So it's gonna pair really nice with our pumpkin spice and our coffee. Love so I'm gonna go ahead and pour in there. About, yeah, about four ounces, you know, a little <laughs> extra. Very generous <laughs> four ounces there. Very generous four. <laughs> so I'm gonna have you do all the fun, the bartending shaking, and all I'm right. gonna go ahead and grab our chilled glasses. Perfect. Okay, so what you do with this is you're gonna pour the liquor first. 
So it's two ounces over ice. Two ounces over ice per cup. And then we're gonna go ahead and take our espresso shots, about two ounces per cup too. You're gonna pour it slowly on top because you want it to kind of separate from the liquor. I'm gonna take a little bit of this pumpkin spice. Just go ahead and sprinkle it on top. Beautiful. Once it's all nice and mixed, you're ready to enjoy. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Wow. Mm. That's mm, great. That's tasty. That's a lot of flavor. <laughs> <laughs> it will go great with our cinnamon rolls. 30 minutes is up, so shall I get the bread? Yes, please. There you go, and see how it wow. doubled in size? Look at that. This is one of my favorite parts. You're gonna punch the dough down. Just oh, punch it down. Yeah. Arr, 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 yeah, arr. take your anger out on that dough. <laughs> okay, I think the dough, I think okay. the dough's hard enough. Yeah. I'm gonna keep you away from him for a little bit. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and just toss it over here. You wanna make sure you have flour at the bottom of your table. So what we're doing is we're rolling it out, but you kinda of wanna keep it in a rectangle shape. How thick are we trying to get to this You're two? about like a quarter inch, I would say. All right, so then I kinda of just take it. Make it square. Yeah. So now we have our filling. That's my favorite part. We're gonna go ahead and spread it on there. I have a spatula for you. Did you want to give it a try? Yeah. So this is our filling. And so do we want it, we're trying to get it even? Yeah, yeah trying to get it all even. So you want to be gentle with it. Not too, not the way you're punching it. You want yeah. to be very gentle. gentle. <laughs> and just make this, make it all the way to, to the edges. Mm -hmm. All right, so now you're gonna kind of roll and you're kind of tucking it in and pitching it. You want it to stay kind of tight. Uh -huh. Just take it. You wanna give it a try? Yeah. Don't go too fast, because that's how it starts yep. getting loose. Mm -hmm. You get one side, I get the other side. And then I kind of take that seam and pinch it. But I like to just cut these edges off. You get about 12 with this recipe, so I'm gonna go in half. We're gonna take our tray. I sprayed it on the bottom, you could butter it. Just now I understand three. why you wanna make them nice and tight. And then we're gonna put them in the oven. How long are they gonna bake and at what temperature? So we're going to let them sit for 15 minutes on the counter. I know, we still have to wait. And while they're sitting on the counter, are they still rising a little bit further? They are, they are. You're gonna let them rise just a little bit more. Um, and then you're gonna bake them at 350 for about 25 to 30 minutes. This kitchen smells amazing. The whole time right. these were cooking, the aroma was incredible. So how do we finish these up and finally get to take a taste? Okay, so you wanna let them kind of come down to room temperature, cool them down a little bit because you don't wanna put your frosting on it and just melts completely. So these have been sitting out for about 30 minutes. So we have our cream cheese frosting here. We're gonna go ahead and just slather this on. Well, I'll let you do this. You look like you oh wanna my gosh. try this out. Here this you go. This is decadent. Yes. Oh, my family's gonna think I'm a hero if I make this. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is unbelievable. Are you ready to try this, Renee? I am ready to try these. Amazing. Mm. Okay, they are amazing. Yes, they are amazing. <laughs> All right, well, this is a this is a recipe that's gonna last for decades. I so enjoy cooking with you, and I wanna tell you what is the best part, is I always feel like I've learned something that I can really implement at home. So thanks for great, easy instructions course, and showing me the way. For. Yeah, it's been great. Thanks, Chef Kim, for teaching me how to make this family favorite. I hope you enjoy this recipe as much as I did. For more, follow us on Instagram at Perch and at Iconic Life Mag. And if you're looking for the recipes, go to IconicLife.com. Thank you.